No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys, welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And for those of you that have been watching my channel for longer, a slight change of scenery as you can see. Uh, we are currently in Turkey, in a little place called Alakchata by Izmir. And to be fair, the lockdown was just getting to be, I was getting uneasy. Just wanted to change the scenery and uh, basically doing a little bit of a work and holiday, um, if you will. Uh, here in Turkey so basically just gonna take you guys along with me on my day uh, get a bit of work done not too much work done it's actually quite a quiet day today for the agency because it is a Sunday um, one meeting I think about coaching later today as well provided that the internet is strong enough and other than that I just uh, take you guys along with me on my day and uh, just hear this guys can you hear that <laughs> silence absolutely nothing going on um, it is 6.30 uh, 6.30 a.m. right now so um, as you can see the sun is already up which is crazy as well like if the sun was up at this time in the Netherlands I'd probably get up much much earlier but um, yeah I don't know just loving the like the sun getting up or just getting up early sunrise early and it actually goes dark quite fast here as well which is going to be quite a, a challenge with the coaching see if the coaching goes ahead um, at the time it usually does but also an hour ahead so I have to work all that out um, later today, but first, a deep wake lock. What's going on, guys? That was quite a deep, deep wake lock, quite a long deep wake lock as well. It's actually 9 a.m. right now, so uh, been getting a lot of work done. And I just thought I'd quickly go over like what has changed in terms of my work routine while I'm over here. Um, because, like I said, it is a work and holiday at the end of the day, you know, I am getting work done. Um, but the great thing is about my work, it can all be done on the laptop, of course, and it doesn't actually take as much time as a lot of people make out and a lot of people think. I'm not saying there's no work done, I'm not saying it's full on passive income because it's definitely not. You know, you definitely need to put in um, a lot of work and a lot of effort to make this work, but once everything is up and running, it's relatively smooth sailing. So, as you guys can see, what I do every single morning is I'll check all of the client ad accounts um, in what I call a deep work block. So just make sure that every single day, you know, our clients are profitable, our clients are making money, and of course, we are making money as well. And how I manage all of this is with a document called Deep Work Block Standard Operating Procedures. That is literally just um, every single client that we've got, um, just all in, like listed out with the changes that I want to make or changes I need to make, the test I'm currently conducting. And um, like I said, I just go through it every single day, make sure that every client's account is checked at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. And of course, Elliot, my head of, head of operations, I was gonna say head of procedures then, head of operations is also managing everything um, from his office in the UK. So there's always, you know, two pairs of eyes on the ads every single day, at least once a day, just to make sure that everything is uh, up and running. Other than that, obviously because I'm here I am not you know pushing the boundaries you know I'm just doing maintenance work making sure that everything is um, everything is you know just taking over and then once I'm back that is when I start like implementing new strategies new plans making changes and um, you know basically getting more work done than I need to just to push the boundaries further so anyway um, I've got a meeting in about 10 minutes I'm just waiting for for him to reply hopefully the meeting goes well with the connection here um it's so basically when, when we you know chose this place i actually selected i filtered down like the strongest wi-fi and uh, apparently this is the strongest wi-fi in this entire little village and i checked and it's 20 megabytes a second which it's okay but i'm not sure i'll be able to do a lot of zoom meetings with 20 megabytes a second so we'll have to see uh, how that goes but anyway um i'm going to finish off this little last pit, bit of the the wave block get that meeting done and then uh, we'll go and see if there's um, something that we can eat for breakfast. All right, pal, can you hear me? Um, hang on, let me just connect to the AirPods. Yeah, I can hear you fine, but I don't think you can actually hear me. Um, let me see, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm good, mate, how about you? 
Yeah, well, the way I see it, you know, we keep doing this, if we keep going on to where we are, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to hit, you know, seven figures by the end of the year. Um, just of, you know, the, the way it's going, because we're keeping track of all the KPIs, because we know exactly how much we're spending to get a lead, and then, of course, how much we're spending to get them into the group, and then from there, what percentage of people actually do, um, you know, end up joining the programme. Yeah, so basically it is just, you know, it's image, copy, interest, country, opt-in placements, and then it's the offer. And then from there, it's just rinse and repeat to make sure that we are consistently testing for, you know, that there is a structure to it and we're not just testing for the sake of it. You know, we pick out the winning image, we start testing out different variations copy, pick out the winning copy, test out different countries, and so on and so forth. Alright guys, that is most of the work done for today, so I'm going to grab something to eat, quick breakfast, maybe lay around at the pool for a bit. Um, later today, I also want to try and um, fly my drone up in the air. I've actually forgotten a few wires, so I'm going to have to see if I can do it without the wires. Maybe um, just use my phone as the controller, I'm not sure how it works, we'll figure it out. Um, do that, bike ride, drone, prepare for the coaching, chill, that's basically my day. Um, so yeah, let's grab something to eat. Traditional breakfast. Exactly a few hours later um, and yeah after breakfast just uh, lay by the pool for a bit and uh, actually had a nap which is quite strange because I've had like 12 hours sleep but yeah it was actually good to have a little uh, nap and uh, relax for a bit. Um, what I'm going to do now is check some emails, make sure all the ads are still up and running. Had a few ads that were on the, on the edge in terms of the Facebook policy so I just want to make sure that they got approved. Um, and other than that, maybe chill for another hour and then maybe, um, like I said, see if the drone, if I can basically get the drone sorted and then uh, go for the bike ride as I mentioned before. And what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick little room tour as well. It's not the, it's not a massive room or nothing like that, but it does the job. I um, like the view, like the way it's set up. So uh, we'll do that now. So as you can see, coming here, so this is our little like terrace slash balcony with a view of the pool. Come here, mirror. This is actually a television which I didn't know um, until like two days into the into the trip. There's a little button there at the bottom, and that's actually how you turn the telly on. Coffee machine, essential. Telephone um, for the cold calling. I'm guessing. Uh, what else? Little another little like balcony here with a view of the pool and a view of uh, there we go the river and the beach there. Bathroom, not special. Let me just quickly switch on the lights as it is quite dark during the day. There we go. Little bathtub here, very Instagrammable. And uh, that is it. There we go. Back to uh, the bedroom. And then, with regards to the iOS 14 stuff, because I know everyone is uh, basically asking the same question. What is going on? You know, um, is everything still good? Is it still possible to become an agency or start an agency with everything that's going on with iOS 14? And to be fair, not much has changed. Um, obviously, you know, with iOS 14, there is a little bit of a change with regards to tracking, etc. It is no longer as accurate as uh, as it once was, and um, you know, as we like to track things. Of course, you know, what gets measured gets managed, but. It's just something that we have to deal with and the great thing is or the great thing the thing is the reality of it is we're all in the same boat so when let's say a client complains and says listen why can't we track this anymore or you know what are they going to do they can't leave you yeah, because every other market in the world has basically got the same issue unless you've got like third-party software called uh high Rose, for example you know unless you've got something like that which is obviously you know quite expensive especially if you've got more clients um like if you've got 25 clients and you need to get High road for 25 clients, you know, that could be quite a, quite an expensive little uh, little joke there and uh, investment. But like I said, everyone is in the same boat. Everyone has the same issue. And, you know, the reality of it is nobody can now, you know, track as much as they once could prior to iOS 14. 
few things that I have noticed which are quite frustrating because in terms of the tracking, like let's say you want to see the breakdown between male and female because you want to see which gender gets the most purchases, we can no longer do that. But an easy way around that is just by setting up a male-female split. Back, you know, going back to like 2016, 2017, when we used to do this anyway, pr you know, prior to the breakdown, now we just need to go back to that again. So if you want to test out what works better, male or female, then just set up a manual male-female split. Same goes for countries. If you want to see the breakdown in countries and we can no longer see that within the ad accounts, then set up an old-school country split test. Same goes for ages and so on and so forth. But anyway, like I was saying, the one thing that I do find annoying now with the iOS 14 update is the whole domain verification and setting up the events, etc. That is a bit of a pain in the A. Um, and for one of our clients even, we can't optimize for conversions, which is strange. It's something I've never experienced before. We can only optimize for link clicks. Um, so we're in the process of basically giving this client a new business manager, uh, getting that verified, etc. Just to see, is it a glitch? Has it got something to do with that particular ad account and so on and so forth? But uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Of course, for those of you that are in my coaching program, you guys have the whole iOS 14 update, etc. All the iOS 14 modules, so you guys know how to combat everything. For those of you that are not part of the coaching program, the, basically the main thing we can do right now is verify the business manager, verify the domain, and set up the events that you want to track under, you know, under all costs, basically. So even if people opt out, there's still one domain that you can track. Um, or one event that you can track, my apologies. Just make sure that you set that all up. And then from there, just deal with the minor changes and the lack of tracking ability um, that has now come with iOS 14. What's going on guys? Uh, 10 minutes until I start coaching. And the funny thing is, inside like the, the cabin slash hut slash room, whatever you want to call it, the internet isn't really that good. And outside there on the terrace, the internet's good. There's just no way to charge the laptop. So we found a solution. We've actually got this big extension lead going into the cabin. And then of course, into the laptop. Improvise, adapt overcome. That's interesting stuff man. And like you said, you can always just try it out right on one client. Mm. See what it's like, see how it works, etc. Mm. See what the quality is like um, of the leads that are coming through, etc. And if if you notice know okay like this is the next step for me, then just make the switch, right? And if 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 you notice that okay it's more difficult to get a big retainer then just go back to the that is the coaching done and uh, we'll probably go and get something to eat now so I'll probably wrap up this vlog here. Probably a bit messy, probably not as much activity as uh, my usual like day in the life vlog but to be fair it was quite a chill day, um, not much activity going on. It was a Sunday of course um, so that is my excuse and that's you know in my defence um, a bit of a you know a bit more of a relaxing day. Um, so yeah like I said one meeting, one coaching call, morning check-in, standard operating procedures. And other than that, there's not much to it. Um, having a good month for the agency, currently at 25 clients. And uh, as you can see, it is fairly doable. You know, it's fairly manageable. Once you have the right systems in place. And, um, you know, those are basically the systems that we also teach in our coaching program. Is whether you are, you know, getting into our entry-level program, Lifestyle Design Mastery, or, you know, in our high-level program. We teach you systems, we teach you the standards operating procedures, we teach you how to get results for your clients so that you can build up an agency and you're not constantly in the trenches, you're not constantly you know, stressed out about a client leaving you, you're not constantly on the lookout for another client because you know you've got systems in place that will 
get you meetings on demand, will you know get you calls booked on demand, almost clients on demand of course, uh, provided that you know you do the sales etc. Unless you get a sales guy to do it, and then that's also sorted. Um, and basically just make ANT life much much easier. But um, yeah, like I said, if that is something that you're interested in, then we can hop on a quick call, see if it's right fit for you. If it is, I'll show you the next steps to move forward. If not, feel free to continue watching my YouTube content. Hopefully, you know this is uh, educational and informational enough for you guys as well. And um, yeah, I don't know why I'm rambling on here. I'm hungry. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. So thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.